Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new then hi! My name's Caitlin and I'm loving this eye look today. I just want you all to see this before we start. Very proud of myself. Okay, so today's video is makeup products that I will no longer be buying, the types of things I just don't reach for, that I regret spending any money on and that I've learned my lesson from and I just, I, I won't be buying anymore. <laughs> I've seen this kind of circulating around and I just, I just thought I'd pop on the bandwagon as well. I, I want to do it too, so I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so everything on this list I have bought before and things that I just, I've learnt my lesson. Uh, I don't, I don't want to buy anymore. Things that I can replace quite easily and things that will just help me spend my money a little bit easier, so. First things first, if you're not new to my channel, then I'm really sorry because you'll hear this story for the thousandth time, but um, first on my list is high-end mascaras. Now, story time. <laughs> if you're a bit of a veteran on my channel, then just skip forward because I'm sure you've heard this. But when I was young and naive, um, I bought into the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara hype. It was a bad decision. I was so excited to buy this. It was something like £18, which is stupid for a mascara. Don't do it. It's £18. I was so excited. All the beauty gurus were talking about it and I wanted to be just like the beauty gurus. So I spent £18 on a mascara. When I first put it on, it wasn't great. But, you know, it wasn't bad. Um, and then it just started flaking throughout the day and I ended my day with just little dots of black on my cheeks um, and a, a little part of me died that day but since then I have discovered this bad boy and I'm sure all of you know what this is this is the Essence Lush Princess Mascara this is better than the Too Faced Better Than Sex this is better than Benefit this is better than any other bougie brand and guess what this is like £3.50 can it be any better? No. There is literally no point spending over £10 on a mascara, especially if you're like me. I wear lashes every single day, so <laughs> it makes no sense. For me, I only use mascara just to darken my lashes so they blend in with my fake eyelashes. I don't need them to be long. I don't need them to be super voluminous. But this still does that. It's just £3. There is just, there's no sense in buying super, super high-end mascaras. This is your girl. This is on the Essence website and you can also get it in Wilco if you're in England. So just trust me on this one. Trust me on this one, okay? okay. So sticking with the same kind of theme, the second thing on my list is high-end lip liners. And you wanna know why? Because I have these. These are the MUA Intense Color Lip Liners and these are £1.50 each. When these are £1.50, why spend even more on a lip liner that just does the same thing? Now, I never used to use lip liners, ever. Uh, I never used to overline my lips, but I've kind of, you know, been dabbling into the lip line thing. And now I use a lip liner every single day and these can do no wrong. These are so creamy. These are, are amazing and they come in so many colors. I've got four of them here. They come in so many different colours and as I said, they're £1.50 each. You don't need a high-end lip liner when you have these. Pay £1.50 and get £100 worth of product. These are amazing. So my third thing on my list is a little bit controversial, but I have taken a stand. I am no longer buying any influencer products, influencer collaborations. That is with my own money. If it's a gift, then like, great <laughs> but with my own money I really don't want to. Jeffree Star is a huge example of this. I bought two of his palettes and they're not cheap um, and then the whole controversy started uh, and now I can't really use them on my channel. Well I can if I wanted I just feel really uncomfortable using them on my channel so I'm, I'm not going to. I was gonna buy the Tati palette but the way things are going she's probably gonna get cancelled as well. <laughs> I just feel like these people who collaborate or make these products, even if they're the sweetest people in the world, there's still that chance that they're going to get cancelled at some point. With the internet the way it is, you can be cancelled for breathing the wrong way, um, and I, 
I don't know, I just don't want to feed into that, so I'd rather just buy Maybelline. I don't know, you get what I mean. Um, I think the Royal Beauty Christie Colourpop collab is a pretty safe one, but I can't buy Colourpop very easily in England, so yeah, that's, that's that on that. <laughs> so something else that I'll no longer spend my money on are beauty blenders. More specifically, any other beauty blender than the AOA beauty blender. The AOA Beauty Blender Shop Miss A is one pound and it works so well. I can go into town and buy a beauty blender that does the same thing for seven times the price, for 15 times the price, for 20 times the price. It all does the same thing. It blends your makeup. You don't need to spend 20 pound on a beauty blender because that is ridiculous and you chuck it out in like two or three months anyway. Bought by the AOA Studio Beauty Blenders, you'll be good to go. They work amazingly, they're so squidgy. I would show you mine, but mine's really disgusting right now. Um, I really need to wash it. Don't come for me, but just honestly, do it. Do it, because they are so good. Okay, something else is kind of non-special slash non-duochrome slash non-wow single shadows. <laughs> So this is my kind of palette of ABH single shadows. None of these are like particularly special. I feel really mean saying that because these are beautiful shades. What I mean by non-special is like non-duochrome or non, wow, you know, I, I can't find words today. <laughs> but you, you kind of know what I mean. I don't reach for these, I really need to because they are really pretty, but um, I, I don't reach for them. I don't, <laughs> can't say I do, because that's a lie. I am trying to invest in special single shadows. So as I said, like duochromes, triochromes, multichromes, all that kind of jazz. These aren't that. I have these colors in my other palettes. If I see a single shadow that I know that I don't have in another palette, then I'll buy it. But I kind of bought into the single shadow hype when it was a thing and I bought these. Granted, I bought them from TK Maxx for $3.99 each, so I didn't lose that much money, but um, even even still, I lost some money, and I just, I, I've reached for these like twice. It's an issue, so I'm just, I've learned I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> Something else that I kind of bought into the hype are these. These are like very basic bronzy liquid shadows. Now, I love liquid shadows, love them. But not bronze ones because I have these colours in my collection as metallics which look the same. <laughs> I have a lot of kind of bright blue duochrome or like bright pink duochrome liquid eyeshadows and they are amazing. I love them with all my heart because I don't have them in my collection. I have these shades in my collection as eyeshadows and it's so much simpler to just stick a metallic on the lid and just be done with it. With these you have to be a lot more careful um, and I, I just don't use them. I, I never reach for these. I've been trying to use this one in a look for so long and I just, I just yeah, I, I either forget or find out that just using, using an eyeshadow is just so much simpler. Um, <laughs> So yeah, these are a big fat waste of money for me. Uh, I will try, I do try and use them every now and then, um, but they don't get nearly enough love in my collection. So the last thing that I really wanna talk about is matte liquid lipsticks. These were huge. Everyone and their grandmother had a matte liquid lipstick in the day. I feel like they're kind of fizzling out right now. Not as many people are speaking about them, but I've discovered I like more glossy lips. She can talk, she's wearing a matte right now. But this isn't a liquid lipstick, okay? I have very, very sensitive lips, like really sensitive lips. Um, I put anything on them and they just dry out and they get so crusty and dusty and musty. I have to carry lip balm around everywhere I go because my lips just scream at me. <laughs> so if I put a matte liquid lipstick or as it's better known, a matte paint on my lips. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna be in an immense amount of discomfort all day. 
And I don't deal with that. I'm not a beauty is pain kind of girl. I'm a more beauty is beauty and I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but y you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to be in pain or discomfort when I do my makeup, when I walk around town, not that I can, <laughs> with my makeup. I want to put on a lipstick, not feel it and go. Yeah, matte liquid lipsticks. There are a few formulas that I will buy that I know are very comfortable, but the majority are not. Uh, and unless I could try it, then no ma'am. <laughs> I've fallen onto the ABH liquid lipstick train and that was not a pretty sight. <laughs> okay guys, so that was it. That was pretty short and sweet, I think. Um, yeah, just a few things I will no longer be purchasing because I have found such better replacements or just because I don't want to buy it. <laughs> Either or. Definitely be sure to let me know what you're not buying as well. I'd be really intrigued to see if we have the same taste or if you just go, nah, I'm buying all of the bronze liquid eyeshadows. Good on you, girl. Do you want mine? Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not, I'm not sending out used makeup. That's disgusting. Okay, everybody, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.